how would you like to get Tor Pro backspin with your wedges? Well, today we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Welcome to the 12th hole at the Asprey. We your coaches, Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf. Now, if you want to get better at golf, you've got to make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can see more videos to help you with your game. Yes, now let's get into backspin. I know you want backspin and we all want that shot that can land and sort of grip on the green and we're going to show you how today. But before we get into the technique, let's talk about what we actually need to create backspin. And we're starting with the equipment, the ball. The ball is key. We need a high spinning golf ball because the cover and the golf ball is really going to make a difference to the spin. We both use the TP5, which is the highest spinning ball out the tailor made. So start with a good spinning golf ball. Then it's the golf club. Well, look, you can use lots of different wedges, but really important that you have a clean, dry club face. So clean the grooves, get the club face dry and make sure it is ready for action basically so if those two things are good you've got half a chance then it comes to technique and there's three main things that we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about loft speed and then strike so pierce let's talk about these three things in terms of technique how will you achieve these because this is something that you've done recently isn't it it is yeah something i've just been doing whilst in lockdown at the back of my garage and just with the trackman in play which we obviously have here now as well so look we need to have a look at loft first of all so what we need is when we're hitting a shot think of this if we have a low loft on the face, the ball will shoot off like a cannon. The higher the loft, the more, the, the, the slower almost the ball is going to come off the face, which is a key component. So the problem that I would have with my old technique was when I take the club back, the club face would be quite strong, almost like I would want for my full shots. So this is, we're definitely saying this is just for the short shots, what we're going to tell you now. But I would get the club face almost a little bit too strong. Then from there, I'd lean the shaft forward, I'd de loft it, and it could come out like a cannon so the loft was too low uh, sorry yeah too low for me so what I did I wanted to get the toe up in the air but I didn't feel comfortable rolling the forearms so what I did I got my left hand and I made it very weak so I backed the left hand so I turned it more to the left so this allows me now to swing back naturally and have the toe ends more up in the air, almost like a kind of a John Rahm feel. And we know how good he is at short game with those spinning shots. He's definitely better shots. than you. He's definitely <laughs> better than me. So that's literally it as far as loft's concerned. I'll hit one now. You've got your track man. Have you got it ready? Yeah, I've got, got it yeah. I've got it in my pocket here. So from here, I'm, I'm going to be getting the toe up and let's see what numbers we get. So this is a 40 yard pitch. Let's see what we get. Okay, a little bit long maybe on that one, on this 40 yarder. But you can see long. how quickly that stopped. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Okay, 7.3 there, so 7,300 okay. RPM. That's all we're really gonna look at here. That's how many RPM the ball is spinning as we strike in the shot here. And we're gonna get some different results because the grass here is still a little moist here from the, from the frost this morning. But this is the important thing. When we look at loft here, creating that loft in the backswing is really gonna help us create that spin. Yeah. Okay, Piers, let's talk about Let's talk about speed because this is really the next one on from there. It is. So if we think about what we said before about the loft, if I am getting the face and de-lofting and it's coming off like a cannon, then I can't hit it hard. I need to slow down. I need to have a shorter swing. So I need to, I mean, I wouldn't say I'd quit on it, but I would say that I'd just be hitting it softer, which means it can still hit a good shot, but we're not going to get loads of spin. So if I'd be creating more loft, I can now have a slightly longer backswing, which I, and I can apply a little bit more speed with the confidence that the golf ball isn't going to go firing 10 yards too far. So I almost feel that when I'm hitting this shot now, that I'm having a slightly longer swing, but on the way through, I'm really feeling like I can zip the hands through. And you hear a lot of really good pitchers talk about that. The hands are quite fast with the club head through the hitting area, but because they've got loft, it doesn't go too far. So what Pierce is doing here is he demonstrates, as you can see, he's actually releasing the club. Now, one thing that Pierce used to do with a shut face, it was very much sort of arms and body and not allowing the, the club to, to work and release. And this is a big difference what he's doing now, you can see. And look, hey, this action can work, of course it can, but when you've got two and a half months in lockdown, you can start experimenting with a few things. Okay, so let's have a, a slightly... Uh, bit more speed on yeah, this one. A little bit, yeah, a little and bit. And let's see if we can get a little bit more spin on this one. Oh, that felt really good. Yeah, it's amazing. Nice you're amazing. I mean, it's pitched actually just a little bit short of the green there, just a yard short. Top quicker, 7,600. 7, so you can just, the great thing about this, those, this, when you do create that spin, you can hear the sound. You can almost hear it just gripping the face and spinning. And it's a, it's a massive difference. And that one obviously stopped really quick. But look at that, one long, one short. Pierce, I want you to do better on this last one here. <laughs> You've got to get it inside that. And this is strike now. Now, when it comes to strike, 
where we strike it on the face is massively important, but Absolutely. we're also going to talk about the attack angle because <laughs> a lot of people get this a little bit wrong, don't they? Yeah, definitely. So look, let's tell you exactly where we'd like you to hit it for these spinning shots. Anywhere from the second groove from bottom to the fifth groove from bottom. So anywhere between that. That's now, quite low, isn't it? It is low on the face. So, yeah, have you ever hit that shot? And it'd be interesting to know, have you ever hit that shot when you've thinned it? It's pitched on the back of the green, but it's stopped dead on you. And you go, oh, I wish I could just have controlled that. That's what's happening. The lower on the face, the better for that bit more spin. So the problem that we have is that if you're hitting down, because we've kind of heard at some point in golfing uh, coaching instruction out the year, throughout the years, that if you hit down on the golf ball, you'll get spin. The trouble is if you hit down, the club will go into the ground and the ball has more chance of going high on the face which is not going to be any good for you when it comes to the spin. Just think of a driver fitting that you have. When you hit it low on the face, it spins more. Yeah. And you principle. don't have to take these huge divots to create spin. As we've said here, loft, speed and strike. And you'll notice on the shots that Pierce is hitting, there's not much grass being taken. <laughs> He's Absolutely. just really focusing on getting those three things working. Yeah, and look, there's a specific thing that I do to help me with that. Uh, number one is have practice swings where I'm feeling that I'm just brushing the grass. So I'm just brushing the grass. And the second one is the time that we spent with Dustin Johnson and what he's done with his wedge game. Just something we picked out was when he hits the golf ball, his head and his eyes and the, the peak of his cap are turning towards the target a lot earlier than he does on his full shot. So if we look at this here, the eyes almost follow the flight of the ball before we've even hit the ball, if that makes sense. And the good thing about that is that allows me to have a, a shallow interaction with the ground, which again is crucial when it comes to these spin shots. Yeah, I like this because Pierce is... Maybe Achilles is when he does hit a little too much down, but what happens with this, it's almost this way, but the good thing about his head now, as his head does this, his left shoulder comes up and allows him to really get this nice brushing action. So This is the one. I think if I can get 8,000 on this one, just, bear in mind... Just knock it in, would you? Bear in mind, bear in mind, normally when I'm spinning these sort of shots, I'm doing well to get above 7,000. So okay. this is between five and 800 more than I normally would get. So I want to see good spin, uh, but most important is I want to see close pierce. You watch, yeah, you watch this head. You watch my head on this one. Beautiful. That's nice. Might be a little Straight hard. In. Ooh, oh, and then he dumped it. Oh, I tell you, it's, it's ran on a little bit, but it, again, it is a little Seven, bit downhill. Seven four on that one, so not quite as Seven much spin. Four, somewhere I, in yeah, between. I had some higher ones. I had some eights, I must say, but somewhere in between. But some, in some great things there. I think. Look, those three key things. Think about the equipment first. Get a good ball for a piss. Get a good golf ball. Make sure the the, the grooves are clean, dry. Clean them out. It's going to make a big difference. And then if you can work at those three things, get the toe up. Make sure you increase the speed. Brush the grass. And if you can remember all this, get that head turning through <laughs> a little bit like Pierce there. It's interesting though, you've got to understand that by doing this, it sounds like a lot of stuff. But you know, by the time you repeat, you repeat, you repeat, you're going to get into a good mode. And I've 100% noticed a massive difference when it comes to getting more spin. Definitely, he's, he'll be catching me up soon. Mm -hmm. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit the like, leave us a comment down below. And if you want more coaching from us, we have created what we feel is the best online platform, meandmygolf.com, where we've got several coaching plans that will help you play your best golf this year. And remember, look, we're, we're just getting into it on the golf course now. We really want to start to make, an, make some improvements and work at our game. So come over to meandmygolf.com. We'd love to see you over there. Click the link in the description, and we'll see you next time.